Welcome to the next Team Arrow editor. This one we will look specifically on how to add images to your website. There are a couple of different ways to do this. One of them is with the media tab over here on the left. You will also find this similar tab inside of each page as well. So we're going to click on media. and that will bring us into our media library. Inside of here you notice that we have multiple folders already created. These will be different on your website depending on the theme and what was used to build the site or what's currently there. But we want to look at a couple of different things here. First, in this folder system I want to click on create folder and we're going to call this one gallery test and then click create. When I go to upload images, I want to make sure that I have opened the folder that I want to put images in. Then I can go up here to the top where it says Add New. I can then select Files and then find those images on my computer that I want to load up. Now we recommend to be cautious with the size of the image that you put on here. The internet can only physically display 72 dpi. So if you load a high resolution 600 dpi image on here, it's just wasting space because it physically won't be able to display anything higher than the 72 dpi. So we recommend to run your images through some type of editing software where you can shrink down some of the pictures that you take with your smartphone or with a digital camera that maybe are going to be very high resolution and make them more appropriate for web use. You say why? The reason for that is because if you have a whole bunch of images in your gallery and they're all five, six, seven megabytes each, for someone with a slower internet connection, it may take, you know, 20, 30 seconds for that page to load. And in doing so, that might make them hit their back button and leave. So you want to make sure that the images that you're putting on your site are of a usable format. Of course, you can check with us if you have any questions about that further. But for here, we're just going to grab these six images right here as an example. I'm going to go ahead and click Open, and that will bring those into my site. Give it a second there. Very good. Now, here's some things that we can look at now that we have the images in here. If I click on each of these images, it's going to pull it up where I can add a caption, alternative text or attributes, and then a description. The caption will display on the image information inside of the galleries as well as at the bottom of each of the images if you embed them into the text. Of course, you can override that independently. Um, for search engine optimization purposes, you definitely want to go in there and change, you know, put a caption information. And we'll go into that when we start talking about advanced SEO tools. You can also create a hyperlink. You can add a watermark, which we'll get into as well in advanced features. But you can also edit the image. Now, it has some basic editing tools that are included with the program. You can change, you know, left or right rotation. So if you bring in an image that's turned sideways, you can flip it around. You can also flip it vertically and horizontally. And you can also change the size. Now, this one is 900 pixels wide, which is apropos for this particular site. And if it was a, if the file itself was too large, then you could change that right here. Let's say it was 12,000 pixels wide, which would be a 12 megabyte file in many cases. You can go in there and just change it to 1200, and then the program will shrink it down. It does a really good job of that. And then, of course, you can tell it when it applies those changes, whether just to do it with a thumbnail or all sizes, but we usually do that for all size images. And then, of course, you click Save. So we will close that out. But now we have these images right here. Once you have those in there, you can do that with each of your folders. If you just upload without selecting a folder, it will go into the general file, which is these images down here. We just kind of dump them down here at the bottom. Now you say, well, I did that, and now I want to change that. No problem. 
you can just click and drag and drop them to the folder that you want them to go. You can do the same thing inside of here. So if you have the parts file open and you wanted this one to go over here to a different one, you just drag it and drop it where you want it to go. Makes it very easy to rearrange your images after you've uploaded them if you should need to do so. So that's it. That's how you upload images to your website. The next tutorial will be how to take those images and place them into the content of your site.